put your words in. Gavin, you're going to do the honest face. It's a little bit like playing rugby. You're going to place, hold, and repeat. <laughs> place, <laughs> hold, and repeat. I give you the strength as I give to you all that I am and accept from you all that you are. No one said marriage was going to be easy. <laughs> First battle faced and won. Your turn, Megan. Rugby, place, hold and repeat. I give you this ring as I give to you all that I am and accept from you all that you are. Well done, guys. So before we end and you guys run away and party, I'd like it if you could just indulge me for not even two minutes. I'm going to give you a little bit of advice to send you on your merry way with. I give it to every single couple that I marry, simply because what I'm about to share with you meant nothing to me until my late husband was terminally diagnosed. He made just under three months, and I can tell you that whilst it was the hardest time of my life, in retrospect, it was the most beautiful because of what I took away. I'd like to share with you what I took away in the hopes that you guys don't ever have to go through anything quite as heavy as that before you realize why you have done what you did today. The advice is incredibly simple. It's just to be constantly grateful for the presence of this precious person who's chosen to make your life with you. There are millions of people on this planet who go through their entire lives and they never find what the two of you have found. So I think that's worthy of waking up every day being so excited and remembering how lucky you got because it could have been very different. Make each other the recipient of daily kindness. This is an incredibly tough world and we all need a soft landing spot. As your primary relationship, that's exactly what the two of you need to be for each other. Appreciate each other. If I could say this in bold, I would. I cannot emphasize it enough. We don't know how much time we have together. Tomorrow is not promised. And the more we express our appreciation for our partner, the more they want to do to get more appreciation. And it's an upward spiral. More important than love, I'm afraid, is respect. Once the respect is gone, everything, it's like dominoes. It just falls. So we need to make sure we do everything we can to uphold our partner's respect. Last, not least, probably the toughest, but the most important is at all times, endeavor to make truth the unfailing bedrock of your lives together. A happy, successful marriage can only be sustained through trust and respect, and that can only be maintained by being who you say you are and by doing what you say you will, and that includes bringing you home pizza, Megan. And by being brutally honest with each other, <laughs> to every little exchange, no matter how small. Okay, so that's the end of the advice. Thank you for indulging me. <laughs> for the two of you, home is not a place, it's a person. And today you've come home. You may now call yourselves by those old and respected names, husband and wife. By the power vested in me, I declare you Mr. and Mrs. Middleton. Gavin, you may kiss your bride.